Hello. Pick the van. Hey there. Hi, what have you got this week? Come and see. Ooh. Hello and welcome to the Pickler Virtual Van once again. A couple more products to go through with you this week, but before I do that, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the van once again. Now, there's lots of these tools have featured in the Virtual Van series in the past, but we do get asked a lot, do you do this, do you do that? And we have featured them before. So just a quick overview, some of the popular ones, the Flexi Drill is a really, really a popular one. It's been popular this year. The Needle Scaler, very very popular as has been the air blower um, the torque wrenches we haven't done this on the virtual vans yet um, but we do a full range of digital torque wrenches with flexi head angle gauge um, all on our website so half inch three quarter three eighth and quarter the quarter one's been very popular with more recently so yeah that's the digital torque wrench range that we do carbide scrapers I had a customer report the other day that these are his, his words were awesome um, for removing silicon gaskets and the like. They're not just a normal scraper, they are a carbide tip, so they're nice. Uh, and yeah, it goes on and on. But this week I am going to show you our glow plug tip removal kit. We've done this one for many years, it's been very popular. Uh, 9041700 is the part number of the full kit you'll see on, on our website as always this comes with a full manual breakdown of how to use it breakdown of all the parts in it so they're all available individually drill bits etc so this this kit will be in service for years and you can if, if there's any upgrades we can also upgrade it but this has been a brilliant kit for many years so this is for removing the glow plug tip in situ so the bit that gets hot to, for clarification you'll undo the glow plug sometimes all turns out but it snapped the carbon tip on the end and left it in the air the air gap around the, the the bottom of the glow plug is conducive for carbon to build up it's not burning it off and it's glued it in so what we're going to do is drill down into it tap into it and then extract it this set covers all, all the normal sizes of 8mm, 9mm, 10mm and 10 by 125 So all we do is we select the, the guide. This one is the 8mm one. And then we have a guide tube. And then there's two ends. So you select whichever one it is on a, from your, your glow plug that's come out. In this case it's this one. And now all we're doing is we're creating a nice perfect guide to get down and drill into that broken tip. So we put that one in, do the thread up, and then we would tighten the grub screw up on the on there. So we've got that a nice solid fixed guide. Then we would follow the instruction manual, which would tell us to either use an M2.5, M3 or M4 drill size, depending on the thickness of the tip. So you follow the manual for that point, to, to tell you which one to use. We'll use this one for the demo. They're all the same inside, just different sizes. You get the drill, the tap, and this pulling spindle. So what we do then, again, you would follow the manual. You've got a depth stop on here. So there's a little grub screw in there. Set that to the depth that you want it to go to. So you don't drill through the tip because only swarf won't go into the cylinder if you, if you don't go through it. So we will be drilling down. In the manual, it explain how you set that against the broken glow plug to a new glow plug that you have ready to go in. So that will be set. So you'll drill down into the tip. Once you've done that, you can remove the guide We just need the top guide then. The taps are machined to fit exactly nice, so you get the nice guide again. So you'll tap into the tip exactly. Once you've tapped into the tip, put our pulling spindle down into the tip, and you can either draw this out or slide hammer out, depending on what you want to do. This slide hammer is easy. We do an attachment when a little mini slide hammer goes on, and you just pull that out, tip out, job done. Um, big time saver of a wise cylinder cylinder head off or knocking the tip in and fishing for a week if you can be if you're lucky to get it out so that is the tip removal kit so 
So we'll pop that back and then we'll have a look at the next one. Um, let's put that back there. That's it. So on to the next one. Again, one of our heritage products that we've been doing for years. It's been, had an upgrade more recently though, this one. This is our on-car brake flaring kit. So we do this in two ways. We do it as a kit, more or less like that. So just the flaring tool. And then we do it also with the, um, th this is a, a pattern kit for patterning against an original brake pipe. I'll go through that first and explain what that does for you. So the four clamps all the same. So when you want to follow a, a bendy pipe that goes left, right, up and down, you take the old one off and you want to make a nice one to follow it. You can clamp this to your pipe. It's got two, two tube holes. So you clamp the original one all the way down. And as you go, you, you're working away with the bender, really good pipe, tight pipe bender in here. And you can follow it along, clamp that one, get the next one, clamp it again. So you're patterning to the original pipe all the way along. And it makes a really nice tidy job of, of um, repeating the, the original bends in the original pipe. So that's the clamping part of the set. We've got a brake pipe cutter. So you'll know what they are. It's quite a nice ratchet one. You can do that up on the car. You can ratchet around. So that will ratchet in situ. Then we have the deburrer. So you can deburr the, the one you've cut on the car and obviously the new pipe if you need to. Then the, the magic, the flaring tool. So this tool, we've, like I say, we've done this for years. The big advantage to this to anything else is it's very, very compact. And you can also go in from different angles. So there, straight, or on the other side, depending on where you can go in. So you're going to feed the pipe in. You've got a stopper that stops it to put it into the right place, ready for the flare. And then the flaring tool that's just operated with a ratchet and socket in situ or a spanner. So all you need is that space to get inside and flare it with the handle on, which you're going to hold it against it. So it does a really nice flare. Now the, the big test, as we all know, is the flare on the steel pipe on the car. And we guarantee this will flare steel pipe on the car, no problem. Um, so you just do that up, you've got your indicator there, so when the flare's done, pull that back and in you go. You've got single and double stage flare adapters as well. Um, and that is the young car brake flaring tool. Like I say, the big feature of this is it will flare steel pipe on the vehicle, no problem, in very confined spaces. That's the brake flaring kit. So thanks for watching again, as usual. Again, before I finish, as usual, that comes with a manual, how to use it, spare parts available, all the bits that we're good for. That kit number is 61339030. And again, if you're using it or need any info, give us a call. Thanks for watching again. If you need any info on any of these tools, it's all on our website or in the links below. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, Pickler. See you next week. Cheerio.